Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Happy Gatti Crypto here. So I hope you had a nice weekend rolling into Sunday morning. <clears throat> so I want to talk about, you know, I always say this as if it's not in the title. I, I want to talk about um, the node, how the node's going and kind of just an update to bring you guys up to scratch. I don't like to talk too much about our own projects and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, you guys need updating as to how it's going, how things are getting on so to speak so let's go to the validators list and um we won't do that we'll select that to 25 and as you can see we're trailing in at number 19 we have a uh, 0.88 percent uh voting power and this means that currently we can burn per month 3.3 million and the best way to explain it to anybody is is the more people that delegate with us the higher our vote power gets the higher our vote power gets the more that we can burn so we've done the maths for 3%. If we have 3%, we can burn around, uh, I think it's 27.5 million. Um, oh, no, wait, sorry. So 3% is 13.75 million per month burned. And um, as you guys know, the reason why LunkDAO can burn so much is because they've got such a high vote in power. And we do have a huge issue with centralization of power, especially with Interstellar Lounge and all nodes and from where i'm sitting it's pretty much what is currently delegated is delegated not many people seem to be too interested in sending their coins to stake we would have seen it by now i honestly thought there would have been a huge rush for people that wanted to create validators we would have seen a lot of coins self-staked to get rewards but we just haven't seen any of that and you know i wanted to give you guys the math so you understand exactly how this all works for us but from where we're sitting, it's going really well for us because I never thought that we would even get zero point, you know, uh, the zero point five zero percent. I honestly thought we'd get about two billion staked with us and it would start to plateau out. But it seems we are picking up steam, and the next kind of get into that next position of eighteen is it, it's a big gap. So once we hit that eighteenth position, it will be quite easy for us to take seventeenth, sixteenth, fifteenth because they're quite close together. And then they spaced out a little bit more, but it's all about building a good community and explaining to people exactly what we're going to be doing with our yield. And as you guys know, we're burning 50%, but the other 50% goes to supporting not only HCC's projects, but other projects if we can and just help them get on their feet and provide as much kind of leeway and on ramps as we can for them. And then also to build up a treasure ourselves because we're going to be providing staking through our nft project that we're launching which is so close to being ready we just need to go through all the fine details comb stats and do everything like that correctly and make sure it's all balanced out and they mint out correctly is there's a lot of work to do but the main bulk of the work is done on the artwork side so very fortunate really happy with the way things are going um as to my video last night it, you know it's i'm um, I'm not saying these things because I mean bad and, you know, I'm, I'm totally 100% against it because I'm not. What I'm against is any kind of form of centralization of power. And I just believe $4.16 million is too much power for any people to have spread out amongst them. And money will change people. It's it's that simple. I've watched it throughout my whole life. It, it just changes people. If they can't put it in the community pool, then I believe it should be left well alone. The people who are currently the signers of that multi-signature wallet will have to sign it over. You can't just take it. They have to sign it over. And we just don't know enough about those funds. We don't know if they're tied into something. Why are they just going to give them to us? It's very, very concerning from where I'm sitting. So what I now want to do is go over to Exodus. And Exodus have launched their marketplace as to which it's like a test run and they have offered up the happy nft and i just want to state that i don't get any money from this i've waived all proceeds that they wanted to offer me i waived those told them i want them to all go to the devs and to help the funding of the game so you don't need to worry about me getting anything from this and as you can see 
And it's that it's just so underrated. People want utility use cases and they're providing it. As you can see down here, you can buy with Luna Classic and I have purchased one myself to test it. And I'll be providing a couple of videos this week as for tutorials on setting up a wax wallet because that's where the NFTs go. And then also linking people to the Terra Station one. So you'll be able to pay with Lunk if you want to, but you can pay with BNB, ETH, Yocoin and Wax as well. And it's always good to see that metaverses branch out with different assets because you need to make make it usable for as many people as you can you know not everyone's a lunk crazy like us and have dedicated themselves to it a lot of people do hold ethereum bags they dollar cost down on ethereum quite a lot and it's a normal thing but this is huge because once they launch all of the nfts and people are able to buy with lunk it provides a good utility use case for the coin moving forward and we should want to see more and more and more of these utility use cases and as time goes on and the metaverse gets going and people can decide what they want to get paid with what they want to buy things with absolutely awesome so they are offering this for 20 usd right now it's going to go up to 30 usd but i think so when this video comes out i think it will go back up to 30 usd after midnight from when this video comes out this morning really good to see this from the team really stoked to see Exodus start flowering, seeing everything launch. And I've got my lands, I've got my hoverboards. I did get three of them. I will be doing a lovely giveaway for um, people once Exodus launches for people who didn't manage to get a hoverboard from swaps. Um, and you just purchased land and you don't have a hoverboard. I will be doing a giveaway for one hoverboard and um happy is a companion in the game and it is literally modeled down to a t after what happy looks like which is hilarious and i think this is a service they're going to be providing for companions in the metaverse so as you can see it's our first partnered pet nft but like i said we don't get anything from these proceeds whatsoever absolutely amazing to see these you know projects that we've been working around flourishing and um, I think there's going to be a huge update coming from Metagloria in the coming days or weeks. And once that drops, you know, Exodus drops, uh, Lunar Burning Nights drops, we're going to see more and more use cases as NFT markets roll in and really start getting underway. You'll start seeing more and more volume coming back to the chain. I don't think the issue has been solved with smart contracts because I was recently going through some stuff with Exodus and it still seems there's issues with the smart contracts double taxing people still if you don't know how to figure out to how to do it correctly. So the lowering of the burn tax itself, I don't think has actually helped the smart contracts on the level that they need it. And as you can see straight away again, going back to a normal uh, volume level. And um, as I showed you guys in my video previously, this comes from a set amount of delegations with, which provided, I think it was 1.98% of the stake and ratio to take it up to where it was. But guys, if you want to increase the burn, you want to help us out, you want to help burn more coins whilst you earn um, Luna Classic on your rewards, consider delegating with us. Links to my validator in the description. We burn every month. The reason why we're doing it every month is because it wouldn't be worth doing it every week. We don't have as much voting power as someone like Lunkdow does, so we can't provide 22 million uh, Luna Classic burns once a week. So folks, stay safe out there. Have a really nice Sunday. I hope you have a really nice day and we'll catch you in the next one.